Hey, what's going on? It's John Stewart, Alamo City Cello. Um, for the last few years, I've been on a quest to amplify the cello in the most natural way possible. So um, basically, it's to take the sound of the cello, the natural sound of the cello, and just make it bigger without changing it. So um, this has led me to some certain challenges that I've, I've had to deal with over the last few years. Uh, and, and the way I see it is there's two separate devices that we can work with primarily. The first is microphones and the second is pickups. A microphone picks up sound waves. Its medium is through the air. Whereas a pickup only picks up the vibrations from the body of your instrument. So each one has their advantages and disadvantages. For example, if you walk into a recording studio, nine times out of 10, they're gonna put a microphone in front of you. And you're, you're gonna get the most natural sound through a microphone. The problem with microphones is that in live scenarios, in live situations, it doesn't always work out that great. So for example, headroom is a problem with a microphone. If you want to really increase the volume, you have real limits before the microphone starts feeding back, before you hit that feedback cycle. So there's a real upper limit to how loud you can get your instrument before it starts feeding back. Also, the problem with microphones in a live scenario is that <clears throat> they don't always isolate the instrument. So it's not easy to then EQ or mix that within the group. So um, pickups do a better job of that. Now, the downside of a pickup is that in the past, the pickup has sound very squawky and not natural. So it's boxy and just sounds very compressed, that's the word. So um, I've devised another system and I wanna share that with you today. Uh, also, I'm gonna make a separate video comparing these two uh, pickup systems and I want you to listen to them and give me feedback if you can. So let me show you what we're working with today. The first is what's called uh, da David Gage's Realist Pickup, and it's pretty much the industry standard at the moment. You can see it's quarter-inch jack with a Velcro strap that attaches to the uh, tailpiece. There's a lead wire that goes to the C-foot of the bridge, and underneath the C-foot, I don't know if you can see this, but underneath the C-foot, there's a piazzo element right here, and it, goes, it, it wedges underneath the C-foot of the bridge. Um, my pickup system is different. It involves a, a pickup and then it has inert putty here. Now this putty will not, it, it will not affect the varnish of your instrument. I've had colleagues that have played uh, acoustic guitar and they've been using this substance for years and with no marring of the varnish. The advantage of this is that you're able to place this in many different places and get tonal, uh, a lot of tonal variety. It's a lot of fun to experiment with that and see uh, what kind of sounds you can come up with. Um, two places that I found for me sounded the best was one was right behind the tailpiece and the other, oddly enough, was on the back plate underneath the sound post. So those are a couple of places that you might want to look at. This next video is I'm going to compare these two pickups and I want this to be a very fair comparison. So let me tell you what the audio chain is going to be. I'm going to record both pickups simultaneously and run them into the same preamp, the same uh, audio uh, workstation as well. So it's, it's, it's going into the focus, right? And then you'll see uh, the wave file from there. So, Let's go ahead and, 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 and take a look at video number two. And your feedback is appreciated. I'd like to hear your comments on this. Uh, but I do believe that this pickup system is a leap forward and is easier to implement in a live situation. All right, give it a listen. Thanks.